Hey guys, welcome back. The UFC 141 just happened. We're just going to go through UFC 142, my predictions. Uh, but before we start, I want to introduce my buddy Derek. He's a second degree. Hey, come on in, buddy. Don't be shy. He's a second degree black belt in Kushido. So he's able to analyze the fights very, very well. He's really good at that. He's actually, uh, I hate to say it, but he's a lot better than me at uh, analyzing the fights. When he's watching the fights go on, he's really good at it. Uh, so UFC 142 in Rio. Saturday, January 14th. Uh, again, it's back at 10 p.m. Uh, I'm assuming everyone knows that it was at 9 o'clock for a while, so now we're back at 10 o'clock. Uh, two of the fights that aren't on the main fight card, which I'm kind of disappointed about, uh, it is what it is. Uh, so I'll go through uh, the two fights that aren't on the main fight card that I was kind of hoping were. Uh, Gabriel Gonzaga versus Ednaldo Oliveira. Uh, my money is on uh, Gabriel Gonzaga. Any of the hardcore fans know exactly what he's about. He's, you know, he's really, really good. What's your call on that, Derek? Same thing. Same I, thing. Yeah, I don't disagree with you there. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty easy. Okay, all right. I may be, I may be better at calling the, you know, not, uh, not tearing apart the fights and stuff. But you're better yeah, at calling when, the fights. <laughs> well, when the fights happen, he's the man. He's the man. While watching the fights, he's really good at that kind of thing. Um, this fight, I think, is going to be fight of the night. Tiago Tar uh, uh, Tavares, sorry. Tiago Tavares versus Sam Stout from London, Ontario. Uh, I'm going to say Sam Stout, and my prediction is fight of the night. Uh, those those guys just go crazy. They bang hard. You know, they're they both go for it. Uh, what's your call on that? Derek? Sam Stout as well. <laughs> All right, Sam Stout. Any particular reason, or just because he's Canadian? Uh, just because he's Canadian from Ontario. Okay. Right. And he's a good fighter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, okay, on to the main fight card. Uh, Edson Barboza versus Terry Adam. Uh, Edson Barboza, 9-0. Terry Adam, 15-3-0. Uh, I'm going to say Terry Adam. I'm going to say Edson Barboza. Edson Barboza. Any particular reason? I like his fighting style. Um, basically, he's kind of like a pick me apart kind of thing. Yeah, I, yeah, so. I agree. I agree. Uh, I like Terry Adam's uh, personality in the ring. Uh, I just like his fighting style. I think he's going to take it. Uh, next fight, Eric Silva versus Carlo Prater. So Eric is 13, 1 and 0, and 1 no contest. Uh, Carlo Prater, 29, 10 and 1. Uh, my money is on Eric Silva. My money is on Eric Silva as well. Yeah. Uh, no particular reason. Um, you know, obviously the stats are a better favor of Carlo, but um, you know, I'm just liking the way. He looks. <laughs> uh, he, he looks good on paper. I like his fighting style. I, I think he just he just goes all out. So, yeah, I'm pretty impressed with him. Uh, this fight I'm excited about. Uh, you know, uh, Rusamar Polaris versus Mike Messenzio. Forgive me if I'm not pronouncing that correctly. Uh, Rusamar 22 3 and 0. Uh, Mike 13 5 and 0. Uh, I'm rooting for Rusamar. The guy's real thick, he's real tough, he just grabs people, he throws them around, he's a wild man. Uh, I like his fighting style. So, Rusamar, that's my pick. Same here. Yeah, Rusamar is really aggressive, and I like the way he goes about, you know, taking people down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree, I agree. Alright, the co-main event for the evening, Vitor Balfour versus Anthony Rumble Johnson. Um, I'm going for Vitor, Vitor Balfour, 29-0. Anthony Rumble Johnson, 10, 3, and 0. Uh, if you guys remember Anthony Johnson, he fought Koscheck and all that drama back then. But uh, I'm rooting for Vitor Belfort. It would be really, really close fight because Anthony, man, he really brings it too. He's really, really good. He's really fast, accurate punches. But Vitor, you know, uh, I'm a huge fan. He's been around since, you know, you know, back in the 90s when uh, UFC first came out. He was kicking butt, so... Anyway, sorry, go ahead, Derek. My predictions with Vitor as well. You know, he's got experience on his side. He's a well-seasoned fighter within the ring, and he's got guns for, for hands. And, uh, you know, he's pretty fast. Uh, yeah, fastest fist, fist in yeah, the UFC, exactly. basically. So, I mean, Anthony Johnson's pretty good, but I didn't really like his attitude. <laughs> but, but, I mean, attitude aside, I mean, he's a very good fighter as well. So I'd have to go with Vitor on that. Yeah, I agree, Vitor. Anthony does seem really, really fresh, so I'm really hesitant to say Vitor. Uh, you remember Vitor got kicked in the head, you know, and he got knocked out. And when Vitor is on, he's on. But, you know, just, I don't know, just sometimes he's off and you just, 
I don't know what goes on with that guy. But anyway, <laughs> you know, I'm really hoping Vitor takes it. So, uh, all right, the main event of the evening. Jose Aldo versus Chad Mendez. For those who don't know, Jose Aldo, 21-0. and 0. Chad Mendez, undefeated, 11-0. and 0. Um, Jose Aldo, no secret who he is and what he's about and how he fights. Um, my money's on Jose Aldo, what do you think? My money's on Jose Aldo as well. I yeah. have to agree with you on pretty much every fight card here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so there's no arguing, there's no excitement on this video. Sorry, guys. It, uh, uh, I do want to say though, um, when Jose Aldo uh, fart, uh, when he fought uh, the Machine Hominick, it was a really close fight. Yeah. What did you think of that fight? Um, I, I think Jose fought better, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, from looking at the fights and stuff, yeah, more technical I found. But you know, it, was a, it was a good brawling fight, right? So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's it for the fight card. Some interesting MMA news. You guys are going to be uh, liking this stuff. You may have heard about this, Brock Lesnar uh, retiring, I already said that in the last video, however, he missed the post-fight uh, press conference because he had to get sent to the hospital. They're not 100% sure yet, it hasn't come out, but they're pretty sure he broke some ribs, so he's not doing so well. Uh, Kale Sonnen, I don't know if you guys heard the news about Kale Sonnen, uh, Machida was in for elbow surgery. As soon, soon as the surgery was done, he, he tweeted Kale Sonnen saying he wanted to fight him. You know, Kale Sonnen was basically, hey buddy, with all that urine you're drinking, you need to be buying a big bottle of Scope. So that was his rebuttal, you know, Kale Sonnen the way he is. <laughs> so that was, uh, yeah, Machida versus Kale Sonnen, that'd be interesting. Uh, but Kale Sonnen, uh, I don't know what's going on if he wants to go up or down a weight class, because he's calling out GSP, and he's also calling out John Bones Jones. Wow. So he's kind of like, you know, kind of putting his foot in their mouth and all that kind of stuff, and he's trying to get them going. So maybe he's considering going up a weight class or down a weight class. We'll see what happens. That'd so I'm kind of excited. That would be interesting. Yeah. I still need to see Kale Sonnen versus Silva though. Yeah. That's, uh, that's like, I still need to see that. Yeah, we're both dying to see that fight. <laughs> so that's about it, guys. Uh, UFC Rio 142, Saturday, January 14th, 10 p.m. Be there.